Now we know, after all the hullabaloo over this email deal, you know, it was for a year we were told this is the biggest problem since the end of World War II. <laughs> uh, oh. Finally, the Washington Post, their everlasting credit, say, I think we've had about enough of this. <laughs> and uh, we know that what Hillary said about talking to Secretary Powell about it was true. Finally, can you believe it? They waited so long, they've released that email. And we know that Secretary Rice didn't do emails, smart girl, but our senior aides did on personal devices, and we know that Secretary Kerry did until the law changed. How come you only heard about Hillary? Well, for one thing, when everybody else for, asked for disclosure, she disclosed. If a Martian came down from outer space, they might have a hard time thinking that that was a good idea, given see what happened where her opponent never discloses anything, but you know, once in a while you can pick it up. My point is, now we know that essentially what happened was what happened. She said, I shouldn't have done that. Now you can't do it. You gotta be on a public email. She knows, we know apparently there was no hacking of her information, though the State Departments were hacked. And we know that other people did the same thing. And that's why all these four-star generals and admirals and the vast majority of the Republicans who have endorsed her have been done it for national security reasons. So you know they're quite familiar with all this because most of these national security the Republicans endorsed her are people who spend their lives trying to keep us safe. That ought to be a bipartisan issue, wouldn't you think? So would they have endorsed her? No. But it saves the trouble if you make it about all this stuff. It saves people the trouble of thinking, and it taps into the road rage. How many of you were raised as children with your mama telling you, do not ever make a decision when you're mad, you'll make a mistake? <laughs> right? We, this is about road rage. Please don't think. Choose anger, not answers. Choose resentment, not responsibility and empowerment. Choose walls, not bridges.